Hey what's up guys it's me again and welcome back to my channel meta what ifs today i am back with a new story the name of this story is what if minato and kushina were revived by kami and yeah guys it is an unscripted story and my own idea now before continuing this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and follow me on my apollo uchiha channel as well and make sure you check out the story that i uploaded there after checking out this one, as without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in a divine room where we see three chairs on a round table. And the center of the table was a device that allowed the three people that were seated on this chair to see what was going on into the shinobi world. They saw the mistreatment of the child of prophecy from different channels channels meaning different timelines and variants and they were getting very nervous because of their own i don't like this one bit our counterparts and their domains their child of prophecy they all suffered because of the people's arrogance and whatnot hmm that is true and that poor child suffered well, we can't allow this to happen said yami as Kami then with wiping her tears then said, of course, we need to correct this mistake. <sighs> I know where you're going with this, said Shinigami. I have taken their souls in the form of a contract. You know that, right? I'm very, very strict on these things. I beg of you, said Kami. As Shinigami's eyes went, sister, what is this nonsense? You know that I wouldn't dare allow you to back to me. Then please, fine, fine. You're being too much sentimental, Nisan. But I will help you. As that is when we see Shinigami snapped her fingers as two souls materialized there. A soul in their solid form state. One was Minato Namikaze, wearing a white yukata, and the other one was Kushina Uzumaki. Kushijan. Mi Minato. As that is when their gaze fell upon Shinigami, Yami, and Kami. K Kami sama. Yami sama and Sh Shinigami sama. Th th three goddesses said Minato as both of them bowed. It's an honor. We, we, we don't deserve this presence, but may I ask, why are we brought in front of you? You don't need to be so tense, Minato Namikaze. We have brought you here because we fear something. Allow us to show you. As with a snap of Kami's finger, they were on the table and were given miniature seats for them to sit and see. And this are the alternative timelines and the outcomes. In some of them, their son was mutilated, killed, and what not. Who was the child of prophecy of Kamiya and Shinigami, which led to the destruction of this world? Oh my god, my baby boy. What, what does this mean? It means that our domain might suffer the same fate if we're not careful, like unlike our counterparts. And because of that, we have decided to take actions into our own hands. Since we are the gods of these domains, we have every power and right to do whatever we do. And that is why you are to be revived. Revived? Yes. You will be revived and you will take your son, take him somewhere safe, train, and save the people who deserve saving. Well, cut off the rest because they will be destroyed by us. As that is when we see Minato and Kushina look down. How many people can we save? Only those who deserve saving, Minato Namikaze. Your heart will guide you. And same could be said for Kushina. But more than that, you too will be the heart that will be guiding Naruto. You are going to take him away from Konoha, the village that betrayed you and your child. Of course we will. I can't believe this. I laid down my life for them. And and put it myself in danger so many times for them and this is this is how they this is how they treat me and my loyalty. Yes. Unfortunately, it is true. Because of your death, Hiruzen lost a lot of faith in Konoha. And because of that, and that alone, the council ran rampant and caused a lot of problems for your son, which ended up either dying or failing to save the world. And they all blamed it on him. 
and him alone for being weak, miserable, and what not, as Kushina felt enraged. How dare they? Please, I beg of you. I won't allow this to happen. Just give us a chance. That is why we have brought you here, Kushina-san. You and Minato both will go there, take your child, and take him somewhere safe and train him and raise him. Keeping him protected from Konoha and the other villages. And then when, when the time is right, he will meet the right people, become he, he, their friends, and then he will save them. As now we see, without saying anything else, Minato and Kushina stood up, grabbed each other's hand and nodded, and they were engulfed with bright light. As back in Konoha, their graves literally ripped open because of the lightning striking down there. As out came from their caskets, as if nothing has happened to them, both Minato and Kushina, in white attire robes that they were wearing. As immediately both of them dashed at blinding speeds towards their home that has been hidden, even from Konoha. After arriving into that place, they saw that it was kept as it is, and there were a lot of bouquets, as they felt disgusted, <laughs> showing their love to us while detesting our child. As now we see, Minato and Kushina arrived inside, as both of them changed their clothes and then looked towards one another. We're gonna pack each and everything. As after doing so, they all packed it into one small scroll, and then went towards the alleyway, searching for their son, because they knew that will be where they would find him. As Naruto was literally shivering under a cardboard box, because he had been kicked out of the orphanage, and was in a closed alleyway, behind the dumpster, as he was crying, and for the first time willing, calling for his mother and father, if they were there. Kachan, Kachan, please come back, I promise I'll be a good son, please. As now we see, Minato and Kushina stopped by when they heard these words and literally arrived there. With shaking hands and a heavy heart that was already filled with guilt so much that he was close to feeling even pain, Minato then said, no, Naruto? As Naruto crawled out, as the cries were stopped, Who is this? W what do you want? We're here to take you, son. What? Please, d d don't hurt me. Said Naruto, we're not here to hurt you, child. We're here to take you somewhere safe. You're our son. We adopted you. Said Minato. As Kushina looked at him as if he has grown a second head. What? But, but I was kicked out of the orphanage. Not anymore. We took you in. As Naruto was taken, we see that. Minato calmed him down. And after doing so, he brought him home and gave him a pair of clothes to change into from his old attire and put him to rest on the bed. As now we see Kushina bringing him to the kitchen and literally slapping him across the face. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you say we adopted him? I am afraid. Afraid, Kushina. What do you mean you're afraid? What if he finds out that we are his real parents and he hates us? He hates us for leaving him. You heard it. You heard him, right? He was veiling our name. And I became very afraid at the moment. And because of that fear, I just yelled out that we adopted him. As Kushina looked down, as the same fear then gripped her heart as well. What are we gonna do, Minato? We... What if he hates us? We have to come clean. The next morning we will. As the next sunrise arrived, we see both Minato and Kushina were contemplating how to reveal this so much that they couldn't even get a wink of sleep. As Naruto came downstairs, um, who actually are you? And what do you mean you adopted me? <sighs> Sit down, son. We lied to you. We didn't adopt you. As Naruto looked down, quite, quite scared at the same time. As if he already knew. I get it. You don't need to worry about that. I'll pay you for the clothes once I get the money. You don't need to. Actually... We are your parents. What? What do you mean? His mean to say is that we are your real parents, Naruto. As Naruto's eyes widened, as tears welled up in his eyes as they fell down, he then dashed towards them and gave them a hug, which Minato returned tightly. I am so sorry, son. I lied to you that we adopted you. I was afraid that you might hate us. Why? Why did you leave me here? 
We were dead. What? What do you mean you were dead? We died. But, but we thought they would take care of you. As Minato then broke down, and the only thing he could say now any longer after seeing his son's condition was that he was sorry again and again and again while hugging his son tightly. As Naruto was the one who even though was a kid at the time was then calming them down as both of his parents were crying. As that is when Naruto then said, I'm just happy you're back. I don't care if you were dead or not. I'm glad you're back. You won't leave me now, would you? No, son. But we are leaving this village with you. They have mistreated you for the last time, said Minato as he wiped his tears away. His face was red and so were his eyes, with tears and with rage. They will pay for what they have done. But not now. Right now we need to take care of other things. As now we see, Kushina was left with Minato as Minato began to walk across the village. He didn't care that everyone was gasping looking at him. As he finally stood in the center part of the council after bursting through the door. Mi Minato. As that is when... The others begin to yell Kai, and some were scared, and some even were drawing their weapons, until most of them then saw, especially the Yuga then s said, he, he is Minato. But, but how? I was revived from death by Kami, Yami, and Shinigami. Because you have, you have betrayed us, me and my family. What do you mean? How can we betray you and Kushina? You betrayed my son, Naruto. As the, uh, that is when the elders, as well as the whole council, eyes so widened as Hiruzen looked down. Minato, I'm sorry, I, enough Hiruzen's heart, Obi. I want to leave this village. I am taking everything, even my son. You can't! If you say that Kyuubi's Kona has property, you're sadly mistaken, Danzo. It was always Uzumaki's and the Uzumaki clans. If you wish, I can re 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 Relieve the QB here, and you can seal it within whoever you want. But remember this, no other body of mortal or a child will be able to hold the very fate and wrath of the Biju except for an Uzumagi. Now, Minato, you can't do this. I am doing this. I, as the leader of the Uzumaki and Namikaze clan, am doing this. I strip myself away and denounce Konha as our home and ally allied village. As that is when... All the heritage was taken by Minato and Kushina, and by the evening, when the news spread out, the village was basically apologizing, but Minato literally glared at them with disgust before leaving with his child and wife. As soon as they left, we see the Danza then spoke to Hiruzen, we need to bring them back. We, have, we will suffer greatly, not because of our Jinchuriki alone, but because of the wealth that has been gone. I know, but there's nothing we can do. It was bound to happen, that is, if they ever returned, and now that they have, there's nothing we can do but to let it just happen. Sure spineless as ever, he was in, said Koharu. Anbu, stop them! No, don't! As the Anbu was engaged, as Minato, with a swift strike, killed them all. I won't hesitate to kill anyone you send after me. I think you have forgotten who you're messing with. As Siruzen sighed, I told you, didn't I? That is the fourth Okage you're messing with. And he is in his prime. You never mess with the Kage in his prime. As Don's created his state because he knew that everything was slipping from his grasp. Everything that he worked so hard on was now ruined because of Minato's sudden revival and arrival here. As Naruto and his parents then arrived at Uzushio Gakure, Minato and Kushina then were able to set up a home there. In the meanwhile, they were staying in a tent. It took them an year or so to build a home made out of bricks and settle down within. And after doing so, we see, slowly but surely, they were building their home. As Naruto reached at the age of five, we see that Naruto's birthday was being celebrated in their own home that was alone and far away. And Naruto had no friends at the time. Nay, Kajan, Tojan, what is it, son? When are we going to begin training? You said that you need to train us. Train me. Yes, I will train you. But right now, you need to focus on your studies. And you need to take lessons with Kurama-san, remember? Y yes, I will take lessons from Kurama-sensei. As now we see, Naruto then sighed. What is it? 
Kurama sensei said that we need to take lessons now, so I should finish my breakfast soon. As Kushina chuckled. As now we see, they Kushina has the flashback where she see that she couldn't imagine herself seeing this, that her son was being taught by the QB who she saw as an enemy. As QB revealed itself to them once they arrived here in the form of Naruto and demanded to un know the answers and when it was revealed what they saw and what what was what was about to become and how they saw that QB was the only ally that Naruto ever had in all those alternative universes QB became aware that he needs to teach this boy and become a sensei like figure and he made an alliance to Minato and Kushina that he will teach their son and in return they will allow him to free from the seal and live within Naruto. And so they did. As this made QB realize that Minato and Kushina completely trusted him. And he needs to completely trust them now. And so that is how the journey began. And now, even if the QB wouldn't admit it out loud, he has grown accustomed to the boy and to this family dynamic. As now we see, everything was going smoothly until... Minato sent something. Stay within. As he arrived at the entrance of the barrier that was there, it was Jiraiya and a few Anbus. Minato, what the hell is the meaning of this? I'm glad and all that you revived, but you were hiding here? It took me two years to figure out where you were. <laughs> so what, Sensei? What do you want? <sighs> Why are you doing this? Kona is your home, kid. You can't just abandon it. I can and I have. Why? You're gonna just... Just throw out your position as a Kage, the respect that the people gave you, and... And what about me? I don't care. Like you didn't care about my son, my wishes. Why should I care? You were my sensei. You were like father to me. And yet you abandoned my son. Your godchild. I was just... Just making sure that he was safe from the enemies from outside. What was about the enemies from within, sensei? They were harming him. You know that, I know that, and he has suffered. He was cautious at the age of three, goddammit, living in a cardboard near a dumpster in cold night when we found him. And I'm great that we did and saw your true colors. You're all destined to be doomed anyway. What? What do you mean? The prophecy that you all profoundly spoke of. He's the goddamn child of prophecy. What? You mean to say that the Yes, he is the chosen one that needs to be trained by us. And you and the rest can go fuck themselves because I won't allow you anywhere near him anymore. Not anymore, after what I've seen. Minato, wait, calm down, we need to... No! Leave, Sensei! While I'm saying this with ease and peace, please, I don't wish to raise my hand against you. Fine, fine. I will draw back for today. No, forever. Fine. You won't hear from us. As after that, Minato returned and entered the barrier. As that is when Jirai then said, looking towards the others, we're returning. But what about the orders? We can't engage. Haven't you seen? There is a goddamn barrier here. Try to get in. You'll be turning to nothing more than human smoothie. Is that what you want? Go ahead. Be my guest. As after they returned, the news spread out by Konoha to the rest of the elemental nation about what was going to happen. And if the child of prophecy was not trained, which was Minato and Kushina hugging over, there will be consequences. As what was supposed to be, some of the allies of Naruto's were now everyone being greedy and wanting him to be the part of his village. So every other day, Minato and Kushina would have to deal with them, but they were okay with it. As Naruto was being trained now and raised by all of them. And as time began to pass by, Naruto reached at the age of 13 and was already capable, capable enough of learning a lot of things and have avoided a lot of kidnapping attempts while visiting the villages nearby to restock their supplies. And not only that, he also has dealt with death attempts by the others, such as the ones with the black cloaks and red clouds on them. His sensei has warned them that they might possess the one person that was the cause of his parents' death. Naruto revealed this to his parents and so did Kurama as they already were aware who it was. And they were always waiting for a reunion. And that day came when Obito attacked Naruto. Obito stopped. And so he did. 
looking dead in his senses' eyes. Why? You're being lied to, son. And why should I trust you? Don't. Just ask Zetsu who the Kaguya Otsusuki is. And what is she to him? And what is the moon I plan in reality? If he doesn't tell, then ask your pain or Nagata with a Rinnegan to search through his memories. And then you will find the truth. That is all I'm going to say. And out of the kindness of my heart, because you too have been betrayed by Konoha and by the very own people that you are with now. Sensei, why tell me this? Because I want you to see what really happens. I want to save you this time, Obito. As with that being said, Obito was left confused while Minato and the others left. And Obito returned. Returned back to the hideout where he went straight towards Nagato and spoke to him and called Zetsu. As soon as Zetsu arrived, he was captured and tied down by Conan the Paper Angels with paper strings and whatnot. As Pain arrived in front of him and extracted his memories, as he fell down behind Nagato, what did you saw? said Obito. <sighs> he lied to us. You monster! Every situation that we are in is because of him. Our world is doomed if we follow the moon I planned. Yaigo, his death was all because of him. I will kill him. Calm down, Nagato. Calm down. You mean to say that? Yes, Konan. Every misery that we went through is because of him. Can't you see, Obito? He is the source of all problem. <laughs> As Zetsu began to laugh like a maniac, so you finally discovered, huh? Took you long enough. I thought I was being careful, but it seems that I wasn't. So, how did you find out about this, Obito? Tell me. I'm not gonna reveal that to you. But I'm gonna make sure that you don't ever cause trouble. As that is when, Obito begin to cast the Reaper that Seal. What? What are you doing? Don't! You're nothing more than the pieces of history that I created. You think I cannot survive this? As his pleas or threats fell onto the fears, don't please. Don't! I'm this close! Don't! I'll, I'll make a new place for you. All of you. you. You will be able to live and keep your chakra. Yes, yes. You'll be the one who will create your world in your own image and views that you want to. No. We don't wish for this world. If it is set to be doomed, then so it will be. Because of the own wars that it will create. But you know what? We will die happy knowing that because of our own mistakes we died. Not because of someone who was playing God all along. As after that Shinigami was summoned and in exchange for Obito's soul, he vowed that the whole Otsusuki clan, every other Otsusuki and this Zetsu were captured and tortured by Shinigami. Shinigami obviously accepted these terms because Obito's sins were heavy. And not only Kaguya, Zetsu, but also the other Otsutsuki clan members that were alive alongside the so-called Otsutsuki god were all taken for torture for eternity. Obito died, but died as a forgotten legend who took down the whole Otsutsuki clan with single jutsu alone. As this was being done, we see that the news spread out that the threat was averted. And now the people realized that they were pissed at Minato and Kushina for hogging over the child of prophecy, or so-called child of prophecy, so much so that they wanted their revenge. Eva was the first one to try, and soon enough, the others joined in. But the barrier was so strong that Minato, Kushina, and Naruto would just watch this from within, while not even lifting a finger. It got so bad that they started to fight and argue with one another over push and shove, and then the fight escalated into the wars, and soon now, instead of focusing on them, the wars between the other nations were happening in the form of the Great Four Shinobi War. The wars were devastating and quite sickening. The people who were from the minor villages suffered as well. Their homes were also being destroyed to the extent that they were now homeless and without a home. Naruto and his family went out in secret in night to help out those who were in need because they knew that they needed people and more than 18,000 people were rescued by them in huge bulk because of the war that was started by the nations. No daimyo nation was able to hold them. It got so severe that other nations got destroyed. But Naruto and his family were doing the job of Kamiyami and Shinigami and bringing them all to the Shiogakure, to the point where that it was filled to the brim and the barrier had to be increased. And so it was, until more than eight more minor villages 
were included into the Ushiokakure range and all of them fills the brim with people as they witness that the whole world in their very front eyes were being destroyed by the shinobi world and once the war ended after two years only 10 to 20 people were the ones who were surviving more than millions of people had died and the only remaining people of the shinobi war was only 10 to 20 people while the rest civilians and whatnot people who were rescued were more in numbers but they detested those 20 and hunted them down and killed them one after the other and oniki was also the one who was executed in the last because he was the one who initiated the war and brought the villages and the whole elemental nation to ruin and soon after the war ended naruto and his parents lifted up the barrier and the people now were given a new life a new chance to rebuild their homes their lifestyle and their world and so in this way the new cycle of time began and they all vowed that the shinobi world was cursed and these teachings should ever be forgotten and destroyed and so they were as this is where i'm going to be leaving the story off guys i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is it for the day i'll see you in the next one peace